Welcome back. It's Terrific Tuesday and it's time for Bible class. I'm so glad you're here today. Yesterday we started studying about a wee little man, as the song says. Do you remember the name of that or the name of the, our character that we learned about? Zacchaeus. That's right. You want to start by helping me sing the song? Help me, okay? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Now we talked about Zacchaeus and do you remember what he did for a job? He had an important job for his town. Unfortunately, he did it in a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater kind of way. He was a tax collector. It was a normal job, an important one. He was supposed to collect taxes from everybody that lived in his area for the government. Unfortunately, he cheated people. He got greedy and he stole. He would tell the people, "You, oh, you owe this much money when they really didn't. And he would keep the extra. So he was stealing from people. But we learned in our story through the book of Luke that Zacchaeus met Jesus. And Jesus changed his heart. Just like Jesus can change our hearts. We can pray for that. If we're struggling and making mistakes, pray about it. And if you know someone that's maybe not so nice, you know, instead of being mean back to them or something, what could you do? You could pray that they could get to know Jesus as well and that their heart would be changed. That'd be a great idea. Jesus always takes care of us and gives us just what we need it anytime. And like, like in our story yesterday, Zacchaeus needed to meet Jesus. And guess what? He might not have ever met him had that tree not been there. Do you remember the name of the tree? Sycamore tree. And I read that this sycamore tree is kind of like a fig tree. It grows can, and can be so tall, but it has branches that start kind of low to the ground, so it was easy to climb. And it just kind of amazes me. I think about what if God put that tree there many years ago for it to grow because he knew one day his son Zacchaeus who was lost would need a way to meet Jesus and he put that tree right there right where it needed to be that's one of the amazing ways God takes care of us I love thinking about that well now today we're going to read a make-believe story again a make-believe story it's not really in the Bible but we're going to see how this story kind of relates to Zacchaeus' story. See if you can think how this story is the same and what we can do about it. So listen very carefully. Avery hurried to her classroom. It was the first day of a new month at school, and Mrs. Pierce, the teacher, promised the boys and girls that she would move everybody around and everybody would have a new seat. This morning, Avery was so excited to see who was going to sit beside her. Her face fell. That means she suddenly got sad when she saw who she would sit by. The name tag beside hers said Zoe. Zoe was usually grumpy and sometimes mean. Mrs. Pierce, the teacher, spoke privately with Avery and said, Avery, I'm going to watch out for you this month as you sit next to Zoe. I'm going to pray that you can be a special friend to Zoe and help her to learn Jesus' love. That's really special. It might not be easy to sit by somebody who's grumpy and mean, but the teacher was praying for her. Well, let's listen to see what else happens. Avery tried to be nice to Zoe, but when the teacher wasn't looking, 
Zoe scribbled on Avery's paper. And when they were supposed to share blocks, Zoe grabbed all of the yellow ones and wouldn't share. Then she broke Avery's pencil. And although Miss Pierce tried to help Avery with every problem, Zoe was never sorry. Oh, Mama, Avery told her mama after school. I have to sit next to Zoe this month and she's mean. And then she went on to tell her mom what Mrs. Pierce had said. Well, said her mama, Jesus loves Zoe. He loves Zoe just like he loves you. He'll help her to be nice. Let's pray for Zoe together. Jesus can change her heart. So every night, Avery and her mommy would pray for Zoe. But the next day at school and the next day at school and the next day at school, Zoe was just as mean as ever. That's kind of a tough story. Now, you're going to hear more about Avery and Zoe tomorrow, so don't give up hope. I just, oh man, that story makes me sad. Have you ever been around somebody that's just not very nice? And every day you just think, oh my goodness, they're not nice. And, oh, and maybe you have to tell the teacher because of course you should talk to an adult if someone's being rude and breaking your things absolutely let an adult know but do you know the absolute best thing that little Avery is doing for Zoe she's praying for her she talked to her teacher about it she talked to her mother about it and they're praying and they're right Jesus can change that little girl's heart He's the only way that can touch somebody's heart that's got such a sad heart. Do you think Zoe is a very happy little girl? She might smile when she does something mean like, ha ha ha, I got your stuff. But deep down inside, she's not happy. She needs Jesus' love. So don't you worry. We're going to read tomorrow and see what else happens. But today, I'm just going to see who was listening. Help me answer some of these questions. Why was Avery sad to see who she was sitting beside? She saw Zoe's name, and Zoe had a bad reputation. That means she had already been so unkind to others. Avery knew it might not be easy sitting beside her. How sad. Now, what did Mrs. Pierce promise? The teacher, she said, Avery, I know it might be a little bit harder this month, but I'm praying for you, and I'm praying for Zoe, and I will help you in any way I can, and maybe you can help Zoe learn about Jesus' love. That teacher, she wasn't being mean to Avery by putting her beside Zoe. She was trying to help Zoe. And she knew Avery probably had a really sweet heart and could be very kind to her. That's kind of a tough situation, but she's showing God's love by trying to change that sweet little heart. Now, what did Avery's mom suggest that they do when Avery went home and talked about it? Avery's mom said, let's pray. And every single night they prayed. That's the best thing you can do. But you know what? Did Zoe change yet? No. Boys and girls, did you know that God always, always, always hears your prayers and he answers your prayers? But sometimes it takes a little while for God to answer. Sometimes he's still working on people. Sometimes he's working on that good soil that we talked about. Sometimes he's helping that soul become softer and more tender and more healthy, ready to learn and ready to change. So sometimes it takes a little while for God to answer your prayers or for you to see an answer. But don't worry, God always answers. Well, this is an important Bible workbook page. I want you to make sure and fill this one out today. So if you will, turn to page 122 in your Bible workbook page. Let's do this one together. I want to talk about it. This one, because this is a tough story, because Zoe was kind of a bully. 
breaking things just to be mean, that's not okay. So I want to make sure and go through this workbook page together and let you know that if you ever have somebody that's not being kind, you help them by setting a good example for them, by praying for them, and you tell an adult so an adult can help as well. But let's do this page together, page 122, and this is what the instruction says. It says, listen as your teachers describe each picture. Circle the picture that shows what Avery should do. Put an X on the pictures that shows what she should not do. Okay, so let's look at number one. Number one says Avery should cry about Zoe being mean to her and not tell anybody about it. No. Should she do that? No. Put a big old X on that. If someone's being mean, you should absolutely tell an adult. So if there's someone that's being unkind or mean, let an adult know so they can help you. So you don't have to be sad about that. You don't have to be worried and, and not feel alone. Cross that picture out and know you can always talk to an adult. So she does not need to keep it a secret. She needs to tell when somebody is upsetting her. Picture number two is down below. So make sure you look at picture number two and this is what it says. Number two says Avery should talk to her mom. You think that's a good idea? Yes, always. So circle that one, and that's a picture of her mama there reading a book. You can always talk to your mama if there's something going on or you're worried about something or like this story, somebody is being unkind. Always share it with your parents. Always. Okay, so go back up to the next picture. Is picture number three. Who do you see? Do you see a smiling face? I do. Listen to number three. It says... Avery should talk to her teacher, Mrs. Pierce, about the situation. Should Avery be scared to tell her teacher that, that Zoe is being unkind, or should she tell her teacher? Definitely tell her teacher. You're right, so circle that one. Do you see that smiling face? Your teachers love you. They're there to help you and support you. Definitely tell your teacher if something's bothering you or if someone's being unkind. So definitely circle number three. Okay, so go down next to number four and look at this picture. Can you tell what her face, her facial expression? Listen to this. It says, Avery should tell all of her friends to be mean to Zoe. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's what Jesus would want her to do? No. Even if Zoe is mean, we can't be mean back. You remember the golden rule? Do unto others as you would have people to do to you. Remember that? Just because Zoe's mean doesn't mean we should be being mean back to her. That won't show her the love of Jesus. So put a big X on that one. It's hard not to do it sometimes, but you got to show love. Okay, so go back up to number five and look closely at this picture. I see a sweet smile. Number five says, Avery should be friendly to Zoe. What do you think? Should she? Yes. So circle that one. Sometimes the people that are the grumpiest need the most love. She should try her best to be friendly and kind to her. So circle that one for sure. Good. And our very last one, number six, what do you see about those hands? What are those hands doing? They're folded in prayer. Absolutely. Avery should pray that Zoe will change and learn to be kind. Should she do that? You betcha. She should pray for her. So make sure you circle that one. I really wanted to go through that workbook page with you today because some of those things are kind of hard. It's hard to, to know what to do. If Do I tell? Do I not tell? So I'm glad you went through that with me today. And if there's ever someone in your life that you're struggling with, pray for them. Pray for them every day and talk to an adult so you can get some help. Well, thank you for joining me today and listening and learning more about Zacchaeus and Zoe and Avery. We will hear what happens more tomorrow. So make sure you come back for more Bible class time tomorrow. I love you guys and I hope you have a blessed, blessed day. 
Bye, friends.